Here he is, Will Hammer. That's it for Will. Thank you, guys. Yeah, where is your phone? I don't have a phone. Yeah, that's okay. Well, she's, she's a friend of mine. She'll kill me later. So I, uh, I had a major re uh, revelation or revelation today at work. My boss keeps telling me, Hammond, keep your head down, keep your nose clean. And I'm thinking, why does he keep picking on me? Finally, I realized, damn, I'm so tall, he keeps looking up my nostrils. <laughs> so, um, anyway. So I've, uh, I've been trying to get in shape recently, and I gotta tell you, it is so hard to make to the gym. I mean, there's so many other, other things to do that are more important, for crying out loud, like going to the library and watching old ladies, or, <laughs> or even better, going to the Claremont Lounge and really looking at some old ladies. <laughs> But uh, most of all, I hate leg day. Not at the Claremont Lounge, <laughs> at the gym. Because with legs this long, squats are murder. I mean, going down, I look like a drunk giraffe trying to get a drink of water. I mean, it's like this. I'm like. <laughs> down here, I look like a Korean woman in a 40 public body. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Coming back up, I look like Bambi's first time standing. I'm like. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, it's rough. I, mean, I tried to bulk up. I even got a personal trainer. It was so awkward with him. I mean, every time you would spot me on bench press, he'd stick his sweaty junk in my face. He'd be like. And I'd be like, <laughs> I mean, even doing other exercises with him was awkward. I mean, let's face it, when are you going to have someone standing over you, watching your every move while you're grunting, sweating, and making stupid faces? Well, okay, during sex. <laughs> My girlfriend's in the office. Office. That's how the office works. We keep that office romance a secret. No. Um, yeah, I mean, I wonder if personal trainers do the same thing in bed. They'd be like, yeah, keep it going. All right, yeah, harder, harder, faster. Oh, yeah, now clean and jerk, clean and jerk. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I hit the shower. <laughs> so, last year I tried skydiving. They say jumping out of a plane is hard. Turns out the ground's even harder. <laughs> you know, you have one little innocent accident and it will cripple you for life. <laughs> And I'm not talking about crapping your pants, no. And believe it or not, before I jumped, I took a double dose of Imodium. I thought that was smart. No, I wound up shattering a bone in my foot on a bad landing. As yeah, true story is sad. Going into surgery though, I swear, I was counting on a high-tech fix. I was thinking, man, I might even come out of this with a bionic foot, wouldn't that be cool? The doc fixed my foot with two screws, a staple, and duct tape. <laughs> Thanks a lot, MacGyver. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tell you what caused the accident? My gullibility. Because I believed them when they said I'd have two instructors by my side the entire damn time. You know what? 
as soon as you go to pull that chute, those instructors take off like bats out of hell. <laughs> Unbelievable. While I was waiting for that chute to open, I could only think of one thing. Please, God, let that ammonium work. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, realistically looking back on it, it was my fault. I chose to skydive solo. I mean, yeah, I could have gone tandem, but let's face it. Who wants to see their life flash before their eyes, strapped into another man's crotch? <laughs> I got to tell you, if I'm going to die in that position, damn it, I want to be on top. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow's leg day at Claremont. I got to go. Thank you.